Oh, guys! Hectic! Check what's lying on my desk all of a sudden, guys. And you're gonna see my reaction first time on stream on, on how it sounds, okay? Yo! Yo, the bass! I can't hear anything! All I hear is music! They're wireless as well, guys! Oh, but boy, you went insane. Nani? Wait! You guys can't hear this? You guys can't hear this? Yo, guys! What's up? And welcome to the first product review on the channel. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Attendo Plays. Um, I don't think I need to explain myself, like, obviously speaking, you know, like... It is what it is, and we're out here, uh, but you know, streamer, content creator, and yes, guys, today we are doing a review, and not just on anything, we're doing a review on a headset. So, um, about a week ago, uh, I got a headset from a Sennheiser, um, and yo, let me tell you about this headset, guys, it's insane. Got it through um, DNMK, or Dynamic, you guys know DNMK, the esports organization that uh, I pretty much work for. And yeah, they sent everybody in DNMK headsets, Sennheiser headsets, and let me tell you, the one that I got was pretty insane. Here it is, right here, just so you guys can see right there, the GSP670 Gaming Series Wireless Headset. That's right, wireless headset now this is the this is the first wireless headset that i've ever had in my life like i'm 21 and literally the first wireless headset that i've ever had in my life obviously i've used it guys it's in the box just for to be like oh guys wow okay you know what i mean but um first ever wireless headset and let me just say guys it's pretty insane off the bat pretty much this is the box that you get uh, it's a nice clean design, really like it as well. It tells you everything on the box real quick, you know, um, what you expect to get. It's EPOS and Sennheiser, by the way, guys, if you guys want to check it out. And yeah, um, this headset is retailing at around 6,000 Rand, which is kind of nuts, kind of crazy, but really, like, really grateful and really appreciate getting a headset like this. But let's, let's stop looking at the box and let's take a, a look inside of what we get. So right off the bat, as soon as you open it up, you're going to be honestly, I want to say blown, blown away by the how it's been presented. So here it is. This is what you get. The headset comes inside. There's, a, there's like some foam in here uh, that it sits on. And then there's a little box over here. So let's go through this little box real quick and what's inside in this little box. It's it's nothing crazy, guys. It's obviously everything that would make sense. So uh, obviously a lot of this stuff is unpackaged because I've been using it now for about a week. This is the charging cable that you get um, with the headset. And it's pretty damn long. It's literally the span length of my arms right here, if you guys can check that out. Um, I'm pretty awesome. So it's a USB cable uh, to a USB B cable and pretty much it's just a plug in situation. And what's really cool about it is that um, let's say the headset is dead because obviously it runs on batteries. If it's dead, all you got to do is plug that in and it will instantly reactivate the headset and it's all pog champ and it's all ready to go. All right. So then you get another cable here, which is pretty much just an extension of this cable. Um, you can see it right there. I haven't used it because my computer is like right next to me. So I don't need to do uh, like much like distance, like walking away as well. I mean, it's also a wireless headset, right? Um, but yeah, you can plug this in and it will extend your cable. You get a whole bunch of manuals. And when I say a whole bunch of manuals, it's a, it's a whole bunch of manuals over here. Um, for the most part, it's not that difficult to understand how to use the headset. I'll obviously run through it just now, but yeah, so off the bat, you get an entire manual just showing you all the things and all the stuff um, that you can and can, uh, well, it's more like what you can do, not like cannot do. All right, and then the last thing that you get inside this little uh, box um, is the dongle. And now, maybe some of you don't know what a dongle is. The uh, first time I heard the word dongle, I was very confused, but it's pretty simple. This right here, this tiny little chip, 
is called the dongle and this is um, the Bluetooth transmitter because these are Bluetooth headsets that you would plug into your PC or your laptop or whatever it may be so that obviously you get connectivity to the headset. All right and then pulling the headset out of its case and getting a full look of what it looks like right here in all of its glory. Really really a big fan of the design of the headset. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, the only thing I'll complain design-wise, right, just quickly stepping into it, is the microphone. Uh, the microphone is completely attached to the headset, as you can see right here, completely attached. So you can't take this off, you can just pull it up and down, pretty much just like this that I'm doing. Uh, but besides that, the design is really great. So you got the straps, I mean not the straps, the, the headpiece right at the top over here, really solid material, and it's got some foam padding uh, just down here for your head so that it sits comfortably. You can actually see it makes a little bit of a dent in my head uh, when I wear it, but like, you know, it's, 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 it's really good, you know, and obviously the adjustable headset uh, sizes. So you just do this real quick and you adjust the headset sizes. The tension is also adjustable by two uh, little um, levers. Levers is maybe the right word to use, not to show, but you, you pull these and it'll pretty much just adjust how how, how strong uh, this kind of like clamps onto your head. And then moving down to the rest of the headset, obviously you got the EPOS head, uh, logo over here as, long, as well as the Sennheiser uh, logo that's over here. So yeah, moving down, we've got the, the earmuffs, which are really, really, really good. They're almost noise cancelling guys first time i put them on and i'll share a little bit of the reaction clip like here and there in between this but the first time i put these on i was like i can't hear anything my brother was next to me speaking to me and i couldn't hear anything which is really great i really love a headset like that it's made of leather around the sides over here really nice material nice leather material right here and then it's got like some velvet pretty much that's um as part of the inside you know, and they bend quite far as well. Like this is like, you know, not even putting too much stress on them. So they, they bend quite far. So like bending or breaking the headset in that form, I don't really see it happening anytime soon. And they're lightweight as well. You look at it and you think it's really heavy, but really lightweight. Um, I think I read maybe like 300 grams of uh, right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice. Really, really, really do love it. Just running a few of the technical stuff of the, of the, the headset, right? So it's got about a 20 hour battery life, uh, 20 to 16 hour around that time. And you won't even notice that the batteries are dead. Like it's so easy to charge in. Like if you're sitting in front of your computer, I'm lucky that my keyboard has an extra USB slot on it. So I can just plug in the USB right into my keyboard, plug in the headset. And like during the mornings before I'd start a stream, I usually plug it in and I'm obviously still working on the computer. So uh, I'll just be charging it you know, letting them charge up. And it charges really fast as well, surprisingly really fast. Um, really, really love how fast it charges up. And just a couple of other things. Let me run through what the box is so that I don't miss anything out for you guys. I don't wanna uh, tell you some lies that I don't know. The wireless range is 10 meters and it, it kind of gets disrupted here and there when you go through walls, obviously, but I usually, you know, have my headset on and I'll walk to my brother's room, which is literally just behind this wall, right here is my brother's room, and I'll still be able to get everything that's happening on my computer, and it's really great. So 10 meters, maybe even just a little bit more, because sometimes I can even stretch the kitchen um, fridge, which is way further than 10 meters, and I'm able to just quickly pop a drink, um, and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Like I said, they're Bluetooth, um, and very very low latency you won't even you won't even worry that the the bluetooth and wireless and you'll be like oh no might not be able to hear anything very low latency very 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 great and now just moving on to how they sound geez i don't even know where to start with how they sound like you'll find a lot of reviews like especially with gaming headsets uh wireless ones where the sound isn't that isn't that great but with these Sennheiser headsets, let me tell you guys, the moment I put them on, I was blown away by just how good they are. You know what I mean? They're so comfortable as well. And 
there's so much functionality that you get. So pretty much, um, there's a software, the EPOS, the, the EPOS software that you download along with the headset, obviously to connect it to the computer. And within that software, there's a whole bunch of EQing systems. It's actually out of this world the controller these are literally mini speakers that you wear on your head guys like it's actually that insane that um you can control the sound the bass the treble you know the highs the lows oh, there's so much functionality i've got a preset going on right now a little bit of a tender place preset of what i like to you of what i like to hear apex legends if you know apex legends is the game that i play the sound is a little bit is a little bit you know, not great sometimes, but with these headsets, I've been really uh, able to hear a, a, a far range of uh, of sounds. Like, not even like trying to overset it. I my old headset was like it was a good headset. Let me don't get me wrong, uh, but I really just love how these ones sound and the sound, the like the the the, the surround sound that it has. Um, yeah, by the way, it does have seven point one surround sound. These headsets, so they're really top notch, especially for movies. Listening to music is literally insane um really love listening to music with these as well blasting it full volume uh you can control the reverberation as well so you know that kick that you like to hear that vroom, 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 you can control it um the microphone as well has a whole bunch of like functionality with the software as well you can control and so much and there's a noise gate and everything and they it comes off really really well and i i really love the design um, like I said, just the microphone I feel like would be really good if you could maybe um, either retract it to be a little bit shorter than what it was, well, well, what it is, or maybe like detach it with some um, with some insane magnetic uh, technology that I can't even tell you. Um, but it'll be really great. But quickly before we end, just to show you how quick and easy it is to use this headset it's mainly just controlled on the software guys you don't have to really touch the headset at all so you plug in the dongle into the pc and pretty much there's one dial one real dial that you need to use the whole time and it's this dial right here so this controls the volume and it also connects the headset to the dongle right so you pretty much turn the volume up and it'll search for the dongle and you'll hear the little prompt it will go like dongle connected dongle disconnected so that you know what's happening and pretty much that's just it like i really it just went it literally i don't know if you could hear that or it literally just said dongle connected dongle on because like yeah um really that's it there's one extra button here um that you would use this is to check what the percentage of the battery is you can kind of hear it there maybe let me get it a little bit closer battery left. You hear that? So you just flip this to check the battery and there's a little light here that will show you uh, the charge. I haven't quite figured out how the beeps, like it beeps and it'll show you what the charge is. I haven't quite figured it out, but I'm also that guy that also, also keeps it charged as much as I can. As soon as it gets to like 20% battery, like it'll give you a warning as well. It'll be like 20% battery left and you'll be like, oh, and you charge the headset. So I never really um, always check that often because it really does do the job for you. And yeah, man, really in love with this headset. There's one button or one dial that I haven't quite really understood, which is this right here. And hopefully I can um, give you guys a little bit of information or maybe pull it up on the screen. But I have no idea what this dial does. I've fiddled with it quite a little bit and it doesn't seem to change volume or anything on the headset so there's mainly only two buttons that you really need to use is this dial and this dial here this is also a reconnection button um but you hardly use it with this reconnection button because it pretty much is always paired to the computer or whatever device you have it paired to you um i haven't tried to use it on my phone i might try use it on my phone might try to do something a little bit sneaky with using it with a lot of different devices don't know but pc wise been having a blast with it. Um, honestly, a really top-notch headset. Thank you again to Sennheiser for sending this headset over to us as well as uh, DNMK. Um, couldn't have done it without the DNMK's backing. And yeah, man, really enjoying this headset. And honestly, besides the microphone design, 
I would buy this headset 10 out of 10 times if I had obviously 6,000 Rand to, to buy a headset, you know what I mean? It is a bit pricey, but if you've got the money lying around, I'd really recommend buying this one, um, honestly. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have to say for the GSP 670 Gaming Series headset sent to me from Sennheiser um, and Epos. Really great headset, once again, like I said. Um, and I'd definitely pick it up if you're looking to upgrade your audio. If you're really just looking to stretch past um, what you're used to, this is really the one. My favorite thing actually to do is is really this. Just before we end off, I'm gonna show you my favorite thing to do with the headset now that I've gotten it. So yeah, pretty much I just like to lie on, on my bed and watch movies or watch some streams while I'm chilling on the bed. Something I wasn't able to do before because cables, you know what I mean? Um, wireless. Once you go wireless, you can never go back. That's all I'm going to say. And with that, guys, thank you guys for watching this review video, first review video. Please leave a comment down below if you liked it. Um, Try a little bit something different. You know, I didn't want to be too technical. You see too many technical um, review videos. Just wanted to keep it fresh, uh, keep it flowing, you know, give a little bit of my personality as much as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>